Hey guys, so today I wanted to share some creative tips with you on how to use RC20 in Ableton Live. So RC20 is often seen used by beat makers that want that vintage lo-fi type aesthetic in their sound. It works really well on pianos or guitar or even just on loops that you got, say, from Little Beach Up. But in this video, I want to give you some creative ideas on how to use it in some unique ways that you may not have thought of. So first of all, use it to create an ambiance other than vinyl noise. With an RC20, you have all sorts of interesting noise options in the first parameter. You can, in fact, make a really great vinyl noise, but what you can also do is take, for instance, a field recording that you made yourself, add a little bit of grain delay or multiband dynamics, and then when you already have an interesting ambient raw sound, you can add RC20 to give it a little bit of extra crackle, a little bit of extra space, and create a mood that you might not have heard before. Another great way to use RC20 is on piano or guitar, but try and use it only on certain frequencies. So in Ableton, what you can do is you can take your instrument, you can group it, and then you can make a chain. You can add EQs to the two separate tracks to give them different frequency spectrums, but what you can also do is pan one to the left and pan one to the right, and then give each side of your speaker a slightly different sound. This can really help with your stereo widening and also just create an interesting space that your listener can immerse him or herself into. Now this next one is one of my favorites. Use it on a return track. In fact, use it on a reverb return track. So what I've done here is I've created a reverb return track that I'm sending my pad to. And after the reverb, I'm adding some RC20 just to give the reverb a little bit of a buzz. And because I wanted to accentuate that, I added a utility to up the gain on that space. Also, for some reason, I really wanted to add a phaser. I thought it sounds really interesting and cool. So go try that as well. Now you don't have to use RC20 only for vintage sounds. You can use it for the reverb or for the distortion. You don't need to have the vinyl crackle on. So here you can hear me processing my voice using the reverb. And by playing with the different parameters, I can really get an interesting sound. Finally, and this is a total hack, if you've got a loop and you're kind of happy with it but you're also completely lost with it, put it in a group and just throw RC20 onto it. Click through the presets and I assure you something is going to sound good. I'm giving away some presets and some samples that I made so you can get that. I'm really trying to help you have fun with your music and grow in your creativity. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, go to littlebeachup.com. I've got lots of tools to help you do that as well as a blog that talks about these kinds of things. Yes, the blog talks. So I hope these five ideas have inspired you to do something interesting. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like and check out RC20. The trial is free so you have nothing to lose. Okay, thanks, bye.